Troublemakers, we are coming to the end of an era, and I mean that with all sincerity. This era began with The Kissing Booth, and it lived on through To All The Boys I've Loved Before. Both of those trilogies are finished, and now we are about to finish the After Trilogy. Please, God, let this just be a trilogy. <laughs> Fear not, Afternators. <laughs> you allowed yourself to be called an Afternator. They're filming the third and fourth after- Wait, 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 wait this isn't the last one? That was like the thing I was looking forward to most today. Is like, it's over. Why must my suffering continue? Hey, here's our options. We can either rent the movie for $18.99 or buy the movie for $23.99. With this pricing structure, you're better off buying it, right? I don't want to own this. The, just the, the pricing structure. It's a, it's a pricing structure issue. Oh, it's rated R. R for risque. Damn. Do we need to give a recap? Do, are you guys caught up on the storylines? This guy Harden and this girl Tessa are in a toxic relationship. Ah, uh, is there a plot beyond that? Oh, Tessa's looking for her father, which he, he's like a drug addict homeless guy. Uh. I don't know. Uh, here's what we'll do. Watch the first two commentaries. I'll leave them linked down below. Make an afternoon of this. You can watch the first after commentary, the second one, and then you can come back and watch this one. If you don't want to watch the recaps, this is based on uh, fanfic of One Direction and specifically Harry Styles. Oh, here. Yep. Mm -hmm. This is the Wattpad. <laughs> Wattpad Studios. Where the true movie makers of Hollywood gather. Okay, so we're back in 2012. Ah, uh, marital issues. Can we please talk about this? You don't give a shit about us. That's... Uh, did they recast? Is this the main character's mom? Because that's not the same mom from the first two films. Daddy! Daddy, don't go! No, 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 no! No, don't go! God. If I knew you were destined to date someone like Harden, I would probably leave my child as well. Like, if I could look into the crystal ball and see that's, that's what's in store for my daughter, I'm not sticking around. <laughs> Actually, it's probably because he left that she's attracted to him. He fucked this girl up so bad that Harden was able to enter her life. Cause a girl with a healthy mind doesn't date Harden. I can't tell you how good it is to see you again, Tessie. I'll make her some food. Sent you gifts, every birthday. Oh, what, are you gonna ju Why, he's pouting already! We are two minutes into this film and Harden is pouting aggressively. If I knew this was the last time I'd ever have to see this goddamn character pout, I would be fine. But now that I know there's a fourth one, I got two more hours of pouting in the future that I just have to think about for the next fucking year and a half. Every day I'm gonna wake up and be like, I got that coming up. I got that I got that commentary coming up where I gotta watch fucking Hard and Pout for two hours again. I'm sorry, let me just get all this out now and just, Ugh. I hate you Harden. All right, my reservoirs have now emptied. I can now start filling them back up with more hatred. The prodigal father has returned. And you're still drinking. Can you excuse us for a second? That's such a dick thing. Oh, he's so toxic. He wants to drive a wedge between her and her father. Just support her, all right? Don't just give him grief, because this is gonna make it harder on her. How, how have my reservoirs already gotten half full already? I'm gonna have to let it out again pretty soon with an outburst. But you of all people should appreciate me giving him a second chance. Good fucking point. Have you found a place in Seattle yet? Oh, nope. God, what's this kid's name? This guy's, uh, it's like Givens. Is his name Givens, or is that, is that what I guessed last time? What was his name? It had something to do with advice, Given. His name is Givens. Uh, his name's like a verb though. Give, take in, take off. I feel like I just remember the guesses that I had from last time. Take off, lift off. In your absence. Landon. Landon! Land! <laughs> You're not gonna have any time for anything like friends. Why? I'm not the only one, right? Look at his face as he approaches. He hates her interacting with anybody. Even his stepbrother. He is the definition of toxic. He wants to cut her off from everyone in her life so that she she has only him to rely on, so that she'll never leave him. Look at his face. Look at him. Look at him. This. <laughs> Is there something you want to tell me, or should I ask Landon? Because he seems to know a hell of a lot more than I do. You ever see the main character, the girl? Her face just drops every time he comes around. Like she's having a good time. She's talking to her dad. He says some shit. Puts her in a bad mood. She's talking to her friend. He comes around. Puts her in a bad mood. <laughs> girl, you gotta leave this man. What? You mean what? This job's a huge opportunity for me. And Does he have a career path? I was hoping that we could move to London after graduation. For what? What do you do? What is What is he studying? You've in? envisioned your life in a way that doesn't even have me in it. You are in Oh my god. What a little whiner. And we do need to talk about this, except I have to get to class, so... If he said, Oh god, if he says something about, Oh, class is so much more important than me, huh? I will call him the ultimate bitch. Oh, that's, that's really big of you. To find time in your busy schedule, thank you. You ultimate bitch! <laughs> I can't, 
I fucking can't with this kid. Uh, how have you filled and emptied my reservoirs twice already? That sounded, that sounded gross. That sounded dirty. I'm done. I'm not complaining about her anymore. Let's just enjoy this film as much as it can be enjoyed. They're gonna kick it off. They're gonna get along pretty quickly here. They're gonna, he's got a tattoo on his forearm. The dad does. Look at that. Look at those like snake tattoo. Maybe he's involved in a gang or some shit. Harden's got tattoos. They're gonna bond over their love of ink. Maybe they both like squids. <laughs> <laughs> Did I just snort at my own joke? Why are they playing ominous music as he puts a jacket on? Oh, they're gonna get in a fight. Did you eat my crispy crackle flakes? Need a ride somewhere? Oh, he's offering. I thought he was gonna be an asshole. My last box of waffle flakes. Cause you know, they can't use like actual cereal names. Well, they could, but they want to get paid for the product placement. They probably actually did shop around to different cereal companies, but companies were like, we don't want to be associated with your films. Hey, you want to come say? Fuck you, why not? Wait. What are we drinking about? He's an alcoholic. Didn't know we needed a reason. I don't know we need a reason. They're both alcoholics. Her dad's an alcoholic. Shouldn't you be staying off the sauce? Oh, Harden's... Oh. They're gonna bond by fighting a motherfucker. Do you see that guy in the background? Let's see if they show him again. There's a bald guy in the background that they're gonna beat the shit out of Ben. Bald guy? Bald guy? Ah, he's getting involved! He's gonna say something about the, the Tessa, and then they're gonna beat the shit out of him together. I have a conversation if you don't mind. <laughs> Oh, oh, they're gonna, they're, <laughs> I can predict this fanfic movie, look at me. They bonded through alcoholism and fighting. True male pastimes. He's an alcoholic and so are you. Two alcoholics walk into a bar. Don't look cheeky, don't laugh at that. That's not funny. No, this is the problem. You cannot let someone look at you in a cheeky, attractive way and then give them pity laughs. That's what I'm here for. I provide that. I was showing him some pictures of you on my phone and this asshole leans over and he starts saying what he'd like to do to you. I wish Harder was just the kind of guy who was just, he just, you know, got in fights and was like, you know what it is, what it is. I take responsibility, you know, like an adult would. But instead he's like, this guy started it. Your dad said this and this guy said this about you and then he can't. I punched a guy in the face. It happened. Things escalated. If you take ownership of it, it would be so much more attractive. Mr. Pass the blame around. This is why you got fucking problems, bro. Take some goddamn responsibilities. <clears throat> Why am I g <laughs> I'm giving giving real advice? They better not have hots. Oh no, don't. They stop already. Your dad, who you haven't seen in nine years, is one door away. Honestly, getting it on is probably the only thing that they enjoy about each other anymore. And quite honestly, if you hate the person you're with, it's probably pretty hot. Cause it's like I I hate you. I don't care. So you just do all the like the worst things. But in a good way. They just missionary. I didn't sign up for the, to this movie for missionary. I signed up for some spanking. <laughs> I, I, you guys need to be like upside down bat style on the fucking ceiling. I don't know how you do it, but that's what I signed up for. Like if you're gonna go there. Finish up and get out of here. No. Crackle. Those, they're called crackle flicks. <laughs> Thank you so much for letting me stay. Oh, he's, he's leaving? You have a great job in Seattle. That is great, but I don't. I don't have anything there. You'd have You don't have anything here! What do you do? What are your hobbies? What are your interests? You have nothing. When's the last time you saw him hang out with his friends? <gasps> He's pissed. He's pissed that her dad ate his cereal. I was just messing around before saying that. This is that, these, these are the fumes. This is when you know your relationship's coming to an end. It's like when you think back to all the best times in your relationship and it was like the first week. Come in, I'm just, I'm heading out. Yeah. Is that the guy from this last movie? Although it's, it's a totally new actor and the actor has like a brand new accent. There's no way. I can't believe I had to look this up. Four actors were replaced. Chance is now taking over the role of Landon. Wait, Landon's a new guy? Oh, am I racist by not knowing? I just thought his hair. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Kristen and Kimberly Vance and Tessa's mother have also been recast. I would rather just like create new characters. Be like Vance retired and left it to his brother, Lance. There's Lance and there's Vance. <laughs> and now his brother Lance is gonna take over the publishing company and then just introduce a new guy. He's been dying to spend more time with Harden. <laughs> I said no one ever. Oh, you know that Harden guy? I'd love to spend more time with him. No one. <laughs> See, this is what this film should be. It should just be f having fun, man. Just like people getting along. Let me have some fun. I'm sick of being sad watching these characters interact. Are you having, a, you having second thoughts? Mr. Grumpy, he's, if he loves you, he could follow you. Just saying. I'm gonna need more wine. And good luck. You know, I enjoy him. I enjoy Tess interacting with any other character. He has so much life to him. Like there's personality in the things that he says. He's not always whining. So wait, is the dad thing done already? Like that was the big cliffhanger at the end of the second movie. He's like, oh, your dad's returned. 
Pardon? Hey, Lily. How are you? Oh, here we go with the jealousy. Introduce an attractive character in an after movie. Guess what's gonna happen? Someone's getting jealous. I'll be over in a second. Uh, can I get you started with a round of drinks? He's attractive. He's gonna become a main character. Now Harden's gonna get jealous. <laughs> Oh, don't look at her like that. I'm more into like pasta. Carbs, yeah, love carbs. Oh, gross. It was lovely to see you and to meet you guys, but I'll, uh, I'll have to go, so. <laughs> was this man involved in the conversation at all? Did you see his face? It was lovely to see you. You know, the camera's on you, right? I'll have to go, so. He looks like he's not even involved in the conversation whatsoever. Did he just bump him? Did he just bump? What happened? What happened? What happened? I'm busy complaining about the extras here. How about we whip you up something special? Dick. What a dick. Can I get you anything or do you need a minute? Yeah, you can come back. Oh, treating wait staff bad? Mm -mm. You can come back, fucking peasant. I'm gonna slap the shit out of you. I'm gonna lose my job. If I'm the waiter, never fuck with someone who brings you food. Because they're gonna spit in your shit. Oh, Harden, I could just tell Harden has eaten so much spit in his life just from being a dick to people at restaurants. You do kind of like it, though. The thrill of being poor. Are they about to bang in the hot tub? Watch him just do missionary again. <laughs> I understand the thrill of being caught, but not by your parents. This film should be called, instead of After We Fell, it should just be banging and fighting. Can I ask you a question? Does your moving to Seattle have anything to do with Trevor? Oh, fucking Trevor. <laughs> we barely even talk anymore. Yeah, well, he's not even in this film. We couldn't afford him. Did you ever have feelings for him? That's two questions. Just be honest. Oh, he's so desperate. There was a moment one. Seriously? Am I wrong? They broke up because Harden basically bet his friends that he could take her virginity. And then she found out and she was like, yeah, we can't be together. And now she just admitted that she had feelings for someone else who was super kind to her. And he just acts like a little fucking boy. He's such a little boy. He's a child. Oh, hello, waiter. What are you waitering around here for? <laughs> a few of us are doing after hours if you want to join. Here we go again. Same as the second film. Oh, there's a guy that's actually nice? No, 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 they wouldn't do it two times in a, in a row. Like in the second movie, the alternate guy was actually like just a really good guy. They wouldn't have him be a really good guy. He's actually probably gonna be a creep bag. And then Harden's gonna come to the rescue because we need something to rescue our opinions of Harden. Because right now they're in the tank. You, you remember Robert, yeah, right? Yeah, I remember Robert. I'll do an old fashioned actually. I'm off actually. We're still wearing your name tag and your uniform, so. So. What? You just smile? Your boyfriend is so out of line. Your boyfriend comes in and is like, serve me, waiter boy. And the guy looks to you like, this your man? And you're just like, mm-hmm. Sorry. Oh, I'm jealous. I'd much rather be in Seattle than New York. I feel like this guy's voice, he's trying hard to sound sexier. Like, I'm sure he's got a perfectly fine, normal voice, but he sounds like he's speaking extra silkily. That's not a, is it, is it, is it? Ah, it's a word. <laughs> I have two brains. I have my conscious brain and my subconscious brain, as everyone does. Sometimes my subconscious brain just throws words at my conscious brain. And then my conscious brain goes, wait, I know that? But back to my point, he he's trying too hard to put on this voice. Listen to him talk. Oh, I'm jealous. I'm, oh, I'm jealous. I can just tell when someone's trying too hard. And the reason I can do that is because I like listening to people talk, which is why I'm signed up for Audible, today's sponsor. Audible is the world's leading provider of spoken word entertainment. I'm getting really into the season with Halloween coming up. I've decorated my apartment and now to really get in the spirit, I've turned to Audible who have a huge selection of horror listens. I always tell people if you have to run or do errands like go to the grocery store or even clean your apartment, throw on an audiobook and you'll end up having a blast. The time flies in the best way. It's so simple too. Each month that you're signed up to Audible, you get one credit to spend on any audiobook across all of Audible. But you'll also have unfettered access to a huge library called the Plus Catalog, which has audiobooks that you can access and listen to at any time. The Plus Catalog has classics like Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven, Dracula, and audiobooks that have been made into shows like The Haunting of Hill House. Sign up for Audible with my link. It's audible.com slash Dylan is in trouble, which will be in the description below. You're going to get a free 30 days as well as one free credit to spend on any audiobook of your choosing. I've worked with Audible a bunch this year. I'm hoping to work with them more next year as well. So help me out. Go sign up through that link. At least give the free 30 days a shot. Thank you, Audible, for sponsoring this video it's the best it's the best i don't know i don't i don't think the part hairstyle works for him as someone who 
rocks the part hairstyle. Like I, you gotta have a certain face for it. He doesn't have the face. He looked better in the first. What was he doing with the in the first film? Yeah, just the, like this nice short hairstyle. Like he rocked that really well. That that suits his face. This is the important stuff that we're, we cover here on this channel. You find yourself in the city. Give me a call. Why are people writing their phone numbers down on pieces of paper? Like, does she not have her cell phone there where he could just type his name in? So did I. I didn't ask for his number. He just gave it to me. No, I just found another guy's number in your things. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. That is, that is bad. You don't trust me. You don't trust anyone. You just control them. Okay, so you know. Now take action about that. The irony is I got you the damn job in the first place. How many freshmen do you know with jobs at top publishing firms, their transfers taken care of, places to live, how many? He's taking credit for her career. Which, even if it's true, you gotta zip your lips. I can't believe I wore my my pink underwear for this. I thought there was gonna be romance in this. Apparently not. Fucking wasted, man. I wear these once a year. He loves you and he knows that you're the best thing that's ever happened to him. You've changed his life. What more story is there to tell with these two? They don't like each other. How is this a joy to read? Do people read this being like, oh, I, I'm having a good time? She's excellent. She earned this position. I'm sure she'll do smashing me. Okay, we get it. You're British. Tessa? Oh no, she's gone already. Oh, she's on a nice. At a girl. Get the fuck out of there. I feel like those are tears of happiness. Like her soul knows. She just left behind the worst relationship of her life. Pain. The type that comes when you've been hurt repeatedly by the same person. Only in those rare moments when he that's supposed to symbolize like, oh, he's over drinking now. Now he's ready to move on from that alcoholistic phase. Alcoholistic? I, you know what? I'm just gonna assume I'm right. I'm gonna assume that's a word. Cause I hit silkily before, I doubted myself. I'm never gonna doubt myself ever again. Any word that comes to my mind and I say with confidence, I'm just going to just roll with it and assume it's correct. I can't remember the second movie very well, but I don't think they were very happy in the second movie as well. So they've just been sad for two movies. You're lucky this is released on digital cause no one wants to go to a theater just to be sad for two hours. We got one happy montage. We're 45 minutes in. What's sad is my favorite part of the movie so far has been these establishing shots. I really like them. It just makes me feel like the world is real for a split second. And then they cut back to these characters acting irrationally and like children, and that takes me right out of it. But as soon as I see like a real neighborhood in a real city, I'm like, oh, it's real. Hello? Hey. Hey. Oh, okay. <laughs> he wouldn't answer if he was like banging some other girl. Wait, 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 don't hang on. That was Iskra, my trainer. I'm at the gym. I didn't mean to hang up. I think you did. <laughs> what is that outfit? You look like you're cosplaying as an adult. <laughs> Fine. Yeah, I mean... Oh, now they got Cinnamon Toast Crunch? Look at her cradling that. You know that they, they Cinnamon Toast Crunch paid. Was there, sort of, was there a deal where after it was like, hey, we'll put you in one scene, but you gotta pay more to be in two scenes? And Cinnamon Toast Crunch was like, we don't got the budget. So they put in like fucking Cracker Flakes or whatever, whatever those were at the beginning. Why did they make a fake cereal only to plug a real cereal? What the, what's the thought process here? Fine. Give it time. Find a place. Cinnamon Toast Crunch and wine? Is that a combo? Are you sure that you don't want a glass? I think she might be onto us, darling. Ah, uh, you're pregnant. We're having a baby. Are you kidding? I'm gonna tell Harden though if that's all right with you. I can't believe they recasted him to a guy with a different accent. I, like th that part blows my mind. They didn't get someone who even they aged him. The actor in the last film was like mid thirties. This guy's late forties and with a different accent. How do you cast that far away? I I didn't need. What is up with this blur too? Jesus Christ! This is what it looks like when Flash goes super speed and everything around him gets blurred. That's what she looks like. She's moving at the speed of light right now. Good for you. I mean, I didn't write his papers. That's another scene of like, oh, you're so good for Harden. You're the best thing in his life because Harden's so good with you. Harden's mom did that. This guy did that. Harden's dad did that. I feel like they are just trying to get rid of Harden. Like she's the person he calls instead of them because they're sick of dealing with him. Just got back from the gym. He does. I was hanging out with Vance and Kimberly. They're about to have some phone pleasure. I think you need to put that wine down. Make me. Well, I would if I was there. What else would you make me do? Oh! Are you trying to have phone sex? Oh no! Tell me what you would do if you were here. <laughs> I miss you. You too. What do you miss? What I love you. What is there to love? What do you enjoy about each other? Oh, she's so having a nightmare. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Oh god. Even
even in his dreams, he's like this needy, possessive asshole. How dare- I bet he calls her like, how dare you in my dreams sleep with this guy? What are, what are you doing? I came to see you. The only reason he came is because he was jealous. He could have came just out of love, out of missing her. But instead, he came because he dreamed that she was cheating on him. It's nice to see a smile back on her face. You know, the reason she hasn't been smiling is because Harden made her so fucking sad. Like, he's ruined her life. That's the reason she's not smiling. I love you too. We shouldn't keep them waiting. <laughs> He's low-key punishing her for his dream. <laughs> he was just like another level of possessive. You two will work it out. Sometimes distance is a good thing. <laughs> yeah, maybe you should just put infinite distance between you and him forever. Relationships are complicated. The only people she talks to are people who back Harden first. They're people who, if they had to choose, they would choose Harden because they've known Harden for like forever. If some shit went down, they would choose Harden. That's the problem. If she's surrounding herself with a bunch of Harden supporters. If you ever find yourself surrounded by Harden supporters, you've messed up. Like you're in the wrong place. Is he in a mood? Of course, he's Harden, yes, he is. He literally came to visit her and within like 10 minutes of arriving, he's in a mood and ignoring her. He turned cold shoulder to her. Why? Because he dreamed she was cheating on him. You barely said a word to me the whole night. Did I do something? You know Harden, why are you blaming yourself? You know this guy. It's probably not your fault. I can't help but think that you should be with someone else. I mean, you're just saying what everyone's thinking. Your life would be so much easier. Yeah, and better. She'd be happier for sure. Why didn't you just tell me? I'll because it's a burden other. for me and I don't want to burden you. But you are though. You're just ignoring her. Even when Harden tries to do something good, he's doing something bad. <laughs> Not in the gym. Why? It's just so basic too. If you open a manual, are the most basic stuff. This you see pictures of this film, and he's done. Like well, that was fucking 15 seconds. Maybe that's why you're fighting so much. He's not fulfilling you. Maybe that's the. <sighs> we didn't use protection last night. Oh Jesus! I just saw the fourth movie. I have to go to the drugstore tonight. I should get on the pill anyway. That's not the cliffhanger for the end of this movie, right? Oh God, he's gonna be the worst father too. Like he can't even control himself, much less like support us, his relationship partner. Now he's gotta take care of a kid too. There's no way. You look in better spirits this morning. Yeah, we banged in your gym. Oh, it's mom. One sec, guys. That must be about the wedding. Trish, oh my God. Yeah, so? What do you wanna do today? <sighs> I am tired. I am just fucking tired. Now she's disappointed that he didn't tell her that his mom is getting married. It's just like, it's one thing after the other. They could just never be happy for two seconds. You notice all their happy moments? There's never any dialogue. It's literally just montage. It's because they have nothing to talk about in a happy way. So they have no dialogue in their film. It's like the scriptwriter sat down like, okay, Harden and Tessa need to be happy together. What do they have to talk about? Do they have anything in common? Do they, do, do they even like each other? Dad, let's just do a montage so we can't hear their words and then we'll get them fighting again. What are they at? What? Now she's fucking, oh. She is so deeply in her feelings over him not telling her that his mother's getting married. Got everything? What was that shot? You shot through a window into a mirror. There's nothing, there's nothing you've forgotten. Oh God. Yeah, he senses the trap. No, I <laughs> Ignore the trap. That's the same shit I would do. You know that she's saying some stuff, but you're just like, I don't, I don't know what. So you just pretend like you have no idea. Good call, mate. You're not gonna tell me about your mom's wedding. The only reason I haven't told you is because I don't wanna go. This was a good weekend. How good? For like, 30 minutes. You guys had like 30 minutes of weekend that you enjoy and you were fighting and mad at each other for the rest of it. I guess that's a victory for them. It's like 30 minutes of them enjoying each other. I hate, this is the fucking fourth or fifth time they've shown this exact shot. Like if it's a motif, if you're trying to like pull the whole film together through this, like this shot and like this window's broken and it's gonna be fixed later and it's representative of the film, fine. But stop using this shot as an establishing shot. My God. Oh, are we bringing the father story back in? I totally forgot about the father thing. The fuck are you thinking breaking in here? It's gonna get better for her. You gave your daughter daddy issues. This is his fault, this whole plot. This should protect you from pregnancy for the next three months. My concern is you may not need it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you're stuck with this asshole too. It's your cervix. Oh. You may not be able to get pregnant. Oh, she's not pregnant. She just may not be able to get pregnant. Oh no. That's actually sad. I don't actually care, but if, if she was real, then I would care. It has been a gift having you here. 
Okay. And I'm grateful that you were willing to give me a chance to see me sober. Oh, that's his dad. Now they're they're off to uh, his mom's wedding. Establish a shot. Good job. Good job. Best part of your film. Jesus, Tess, is there a body in here? That, like, right there. Jeez, Tess, is there a body in here? Like, teasing each other. I miss... I just want to see a film of that. Like, you could focus on the enjoyable interactions between these two. Like, you could just have Tessa and Harden having fun, getting to know each other, getting deeper with each other. Like, not physically deeper. Getting emotionally deeper. They're just not doing that. They're just like, let's just create problems, one after the other. I left your bed up, Harden. I wasn't expecting to sleep on the floor. I'll leave you to it. I'm staying uh, next door at Mike's. Okay. Jesus Christ. Hey, give me a sec. He's in a mood already. He was just teasing Tessa a second ago. As soon as he entered the house, he's already in a mood. How do you deal with this man? Like his own mother, he just treats her poorly. She's getting married. You came to visit her. You're just seeing her. You can't treat your mom well. He shows it. He's just so disrespectful towards his parents, towards waitstaff. He's just an asshole. Yay. The best part of the film. Yay. Oh. What? Okay, what is he going to get angry at now? What, the thermostat is, is is not cold enough for you, so you're going to whine? Oh my god. Oh! Vance! Uh, it's not what you think. Are you fucking- <laughs> Okay, so Vance, who has a pregnant wife, is having sex with Hardin's mom now. Okay. Who's getting married. <laughs> You're getting married tomorrow. He's been fucking my mom. Please, uh, just stop <laughs> it. Don't, it's funny when he says it. He's been fucking my mom. <laughs> Don't you talk to your mom like oh, that. Fuck off. Who the fuck are you to tell me what to do, huh? You really want to know. No, Christian, please don't. Come in. No. <gasps> this man is Harden's father. I would put money on it. You really want to know? He, oh my God. This is Harden's dad. It's, it's not that simple. It is pretty simple though. Like, you're getting married. You made a commitment to somebody else. What if they just went back to having sex? <laughs> They're like, all right, might as well finish. You know what I mean? Like, we started. We're caught either way. We're gonna have to wipe down the counters either way. We might as well. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take a, br a breakdown of his... Uh, seriously. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I just... I, this brings me so much joy. <laughs> Suffer. <laughs> Suffer. Oh, cry, you little baby boy. Cry! Yay! Woo! Oh. Oh, how do you do that? How do you, how do on the eve of your wedding, you're banging someone out? How do you, how do you allow yourself to do that? You just don't care about other people, huh? I can come if you want me to. That's what she said. <laughs> Harden, I'm your father. Do we care enough that for that to be a cliffhanger? You tell me, after Naders. <laughs> I'm afraid I won't be able to stay as angry as I am. Oh, she's in the worst spot. She, I feel for her, like her husband, whomst child she's carrying, just cheated on her with a woman who is getting married the next day. Like of all the women to cheat with. I was gonna tell you ages ago, but your mom didn't want tell me what. Figure it out, son. Harden is Christian's son. Oh, no! What a shock! <laughs> you can't be serious! Oh my god! Fuck! Yeah. What the heck? Oh. Oh. I'm so sorry. Oh. 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 My mind is blown! Now, it's not the time, but that's a very boring suit. He doesn't look good in all black. He needs a little bit of color. <laughs> what is After Four called? If they named the fourth film We Couldn't Get Up, I would forgive every sin that this movie's ever perpetrated. Okay, serious review. Serious review time. There's only one point that I want to make. You have like your core fans who I'm sure are going to enjoy this enough. You know, the af <laughs> the afternators. They're going to enjoy this because you're seeing the main characters. You only get to experience them once every couple years when the movies come out. So like anything will suffice. So those are your core fans. But for everybody else who's just like, maybe I want to watch this and have a good time. There's not a good time to be had here. The characters hardly enjoy themselves. There's like, I can count on one hand the number of times the characters were having a good time. And I get you want to have drama to be interesting, but you have to have a balance between like sad drama stuff and then just happy, fun, enjoyable movie going experience. There's not enough of that. All right, that's it. That's it. I guess we'll be back for after four. And please be the end. I would I actually wouldn't hate a spinoff with Landon. I would not dislike that because Landon had a personality. Landon, when he's on the screen, I was having a good time because he has energy. His character's just got like a bright spirit. It's, I'm sick of looking at this fucking black hole that is Harden and Tessa's relationship. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you to Audible for sponsoring this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Toodles.